Hello, I'm Michael Gross, the host of the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network. You know, the hobby of miniature model trains uh, electrifies the child in all of us, including myself. The B&O's Public Relations Department recognized that early and that the railroad's role in history was significant. Maintaining public awareness, especially for kids and families, was just as important. Now this led to the creation of a set of traveling model railroads that served as uh, ambassadors of a sort for the B&O. Now we are today inside the B&O Railroad Museum's Hayes T. Watkins Library, and behind me in this case is a set of one of those traveling model railroads. This traveled each holiday season along the B&O system to uh, various points and uh, was exhibited at various public locations. It was commissioned by the B&O and manufactured by the A.C. Gilbert Company, who made American Flyer electric trains as well as the ever popular Erector set. In 1936, the B&O constructed a portable O-gauge layout at its Mount Clare shops in Baltimore that weighed about 14,000 pounds with 36 sections. Valued at nearly $50,000, this traveling model exhibit measuring 50 feet long and 25 feet wide would appear periodically in communities across the B&O railroad system and was recognized as one of the finest ever constructed. During World War II, the layout was exhibited in Army and Veterans Hospitals and served as an educating tool and focal point for stimulating sales of war bonds and stamps in the civilian sector. After World War II, in which now defunct Baltimore-based department store was B&O's model train layout displayed? We'll find out after this commercial break. Stay tuned for information on upcoming events at the B&O Railroad Museum. Holiday Festival of Trains. Celebrate the holiday season at Baltimore's largest holiday display of toy and model train layouts. Join us for a train load of fun that has become an annual holiday family tradition. Thomas the Tank Engine's visiting b and Railroad Museum. Kids of all ages can enjoy a ride with Thomas the Tank Engine and meet Sir Topham Hatt. There'll be storytelling, live entertainment, and much, much more. Don't miss Day Out with Thomas, the leader of the track tour. The B&O layout was displayed at the Hutzler's department store in Baltimore, during the 1945 Christmas holiday season. One year later, it was exhibited in Cincinnati inside the spacious lobby of the Cincinnati Gas and Electric Company, where about a half million people viewed it. By the late 1940s, it became apparent that the popularity of the O-Gage model train layout mandated production of other layouts. HO, S, and new 
O-scale traveling layouts were designed and constructed by B&O employees at Mount Clare and traveled throughout Baltimore, Cleveland, Cincinnati, and other major cities throughout the B&O railroad system. See more operating scale model and toy trains at the B&O's Ellicott City Station Holiday Festival of Trains. A brand new 360 degree multi-level model train layout fills one end of the station. Children particularly love the Thomas the Tank Engine layout. Plan a visit and experience the magic of holiday trains. I'm Michael Gross. Happy holidays and thanks for watching the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network. Interested in learning more about the B&O Railroad Museum and Ellicott City Station? Follow us on Facebook and Twitter with daily updates on upcoming events, coupons, photographs, history, and things to do in Baltimore. You'll never be off track.